Hi, Scott Weaver from Factory Direct Designers Workroom. If you watched my previous video, I explained about the, the tapes and how the soft folds come about for a hobbled Roman shade. And today we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, make a shade. The shade that we're making is going to be 24 inches wide by 30 inches deep. And I've already cut my fabric. And I'll explain. A 30 inch long shade, so, hobble shade, not a flat fold. This is a hobble with this saw. Takes two times the amount of material. So if you're making one 30 inches long, you need 60 inches of material plus your bottom hem. I'm putting on a double two and a half inch bottom hem. That's what this hem is right here. So 30 times two is 60 plus a double two and a half inch hem. Double two and a half means it's five inches. I'm gonna roll it two and a half inches. I'm gonna roll the second time to make it five inches. So I'm using 65 inches worth of material. As far as the width of my material, I'm making a 24 inch wide shade and I'm putting a double one inch side hem on each side, double one inch. So what is that? That's doubled on this side, so that's two inches, and doubled on this side is two inches. So I'm adding an additional four inches. So my cut width here is 28 inches, 24 inches for the width of my shade, plus a double one inch here, double one inch here, adds an additional four inches. My liner, which is this white right here, is my liner. My liner, I am cutting that in the width of it, I'm cutting it exactly the width of my shade. My shade's 24 inches wide, I'm cutting my liner 24 inches wide. As far as the length, my shade's going to be 30 inches long times two is 60. So I'm only cutting my lining at 60 inches long to make a 30 inch shade. My fabric was cut at 65 inches. And the reason why that is because that allows me to make my bottom hem here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to center your lining and making sure that you have two and a half inches, I'm sorry, uh, uh, two inches on each side of it, two and two. And you're making sure that the lining is even at the top here. Now at the bottom, it won't be because this is for your, bottom, for your bottom hem. So having it all lined up here, now you're going to put plenty of pins in. You want to make sure that you're pinning it, not coming right to the edge because you still have to make a side hem. So we're just going to stick some pins all through it just to secure the lining down. And of course, I've got the fabric laid down, uh, the face of the, down on my table. So I'm dealing with just the backside of the shade itself. Now the first thing you're going to do is going to make your side ends. Since it's even with the lining, you can start up at the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. But you're going to take it and you're going to bring it even with your uh, liner and then over so you have a nice one inch hem. That's why I like to cut the liner exactly the width of the shade because now I can use the, uh, the liner as the edge as kind of a guide for pinning in my hems. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this up on both sides. Um, if you have a blind stitch machine, you can blind stitch it, 
or if you don't have a buying switch machine and you're just a home sewer, uh, then just use a straight switch machine will work fine um, using a neutral color um, you know I wouldn't recommend using a black on a, on a tin fabric um, but if you want some contrast I guess it's fine with me anyhow this is how you do it I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side I'm gonna stitch it down and then we're gonna work on the on the uh, bottom catch in a few minutes 